Alright, welcome back to Spiral Knights. We're just gonna do an entire video of a lore dump. So let's go, true champion. Gay Fig Jones! Oh, Gay Fig Jones, you made it! Haha! <laughs> I'm so happy you came out of there alive. I was worried sick about you. It's good to know you care, Cora. Well, as far as I'm concerned, this is only the beginning for you, Gay Fig Jones. You are a true champion of the Spiral Knights. Since I haven't been reassigned, I suppose it's just the beginning for us as well. Looking forward to lots more intel then, Cora. You can always count on me. Now then, I'm sure you've got lots to do. We're going crazy over here trying to make heads or tails over that recall module discovered outside the core. How the heck could the Alpha Squad have entered the core? If there's a way, we'll find it. Yes, I suppose we just might. Safe travels, then, eh, Big Jones? In conversation. Alright, No, not shall, boy. Honor and duty. Well met, Gay Fig Jones, champion of the Spiral Knights. Your service to our cause has been of the highest caliber. Without you, reaching the core would still be a dream. Now, we have a chance of actually restoring the Skylark and returning home. It's been an honor to serve, Lieutenant. By the way, you can just press down and space to to select and, and advance, advance the dialogue options down below. I've read your report of the core. It's fascinating. What an impossible structure to think that that the Alpha Squad might actually still be alive, but inside that thing is just incredible. Understand that Lieutenant Valen has already led a team to the core terminal and is establishing a base of operations for research. This is of great value to all Spiral Knights, and we have you to thank. I hope our findings produce something meaningful. Aye, as do we all. Now then, Gay Pig Jones, you need to prepare for what's to come. Reaching the core is only the beginning for us. I suspect that Spiral HQ will be issuing many more prayer missions in the future that could only be taken on by someone of your ability. And finally, it is my pleasure to inform you that you will soon be awarded one of the greatest honors of the Spiral Knights, the rank of Vanguard. I will see you in the Hall of Heroes. Thank you, Lieutenant. Yay. Alright, next one. The search continues. Gay Pig Jones, I cannot thank you enough. We've already established our research base and are collecting a tremendous amount of data uh, that we would have never had without your efforts. Thank you, Lieutenant. Any more information with regard to the Alpha Squad? Recon module collected is very strange. I have no reason to believe what Parma was saying isn't true. But how it happened, I just can't say. Everything about the core suggests there are no doors into it. It's not a structure built to enter from the outside. Rather, it seems just the opposite. A prison that keeps something inside? Perhaps. It certainly could be when you look at it. We'll need to study it further. And the living darkness she described? I don't know, but it's certainly a terrifying picture she has painted. Something stirs within the heart of this world, Gay Big Jones. Something terrible. I felt it since we first set foot in this world. Invisible eyes watching our every move. Shapes that form just out of view. Something greater than grand ones calls this world home. What will you do now, Lieutenant? I haven't given up search for Euclid, Parma, Grants, and Ruin. They're out there somewhere, and I will find them, even if it means entering the core myself. I wish you luck, Lieutenant. You as well, Vanguard. Yay. Now, for the final Hall of Heroes. Yay, we finally meet. It here, the final Hall of Heroes. Uh, 
And now everyone salutes us. Can I talk to you now? Yay, look at all these generic knights. And then all the vendors. They're saluting as well. Hello, Barris. Well, Mickey Jones, it is good to see you once more and under such auspicious turns. Hello, Lieutenant. You stand within the Hall of Heroes, where the best of the Spiral Knights offer you what they can to aspiring knights. Knights like yourself once. Once were when you first em Knights like you yourself once were when you first emerged from your drop pod and found your way to Haven. After so many successful missions, daring rescues, and exemplary performance in battle, you now stand to fit the to join these heroes. <laughs> yes, daring. Yes, rescues. Flashes back to re referring to the hostages as meat shields. Totally f rescues. Anyway, continue on. Gay Pig Jones, it is my great honor, in the company of all those who support you and whom you serve, to award you the high rank of Vanguard of the Spiral Knights. I am honored. Now then, greet those who have, have helped you become what you are today. When you are done, take the elevator back up to receive your commendation. Yay! Oh my god, I can just talk to people. But not the vendors. No, they didn't help me become who I am today. Not at all. Oh, visible walls. Can I break that? I can. <laughs> we don't need that. Alright, Bosco. Wow, you really did it. Hey, thanks for the input. I thought you'd be taller. Um... Ah! Uh, oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Okay, don't talk to Han, apparently. Oh god. I was... I was not ready for that. <laughs> oh man, that was... But it put me right back. Oh no, it's still putting me back to talking to Han. Okay, I'm, everything's good now. Wagner. Oh right, you're the the Geo scientist. Congratulations, you Big Jones. The Geo Knights owe you a great deal to your efforts. Actually, I guess Geo scientists would be called the geologist. Oh hey, Desna. I never did any of your missions because you're all you only appear in the. Uh, scary prestige missions. Vanguard, eh? The rangers are always looking for skilled knights like you, Game Big Jones. After all this pomp is done, come see me if you want to laugh in the face of death and danger once more. I can do that just fine without you, thank you very much. And... Goddamn invisible walls. Back him out. Hi, Game Pig Jones. Look at you. Wow. Hey, Vanguard or not, you know where to go if you want to really stand out, right? Yeah, she's the accessorizer. She puts a accessories on your armor. You know, like this emerald pairing blade I have. I have just on my hip. Or, you know, the... Oh, the ghostly aura that you can see coming up sometimes. And did I talk to Pharaoh? Serve with honor, Vanguard. Oh wait, that's Cora. Nice to finally meet you in person, Keith Jones. Congratulations. I am honored. There you go. That was the final Hall of Heroes. Alright. Back to the bazaar. Since this video's been like 10 minutes of lore dump already, the next three missions are not lore dumps. 
I'm thinking... Let's just add to the lore dump. Um, with these artifacts that I have a bunch of. What the heck? When did I get this? Um... Uh, I'm just going to slowly scroll through this and anyone who's willing to read this can like read it by pausing the video repeatedly because that is enough text to just make my brain shut down. Okay. Let's start going through these recon modules. No. No. Oh. Guess what I didn't do. I didn't do the gauntlet. Um, uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to finish making this floor dump video. Then I'm going to cut the recording, start a new one, and do the gauntlet in that recording, and, you know, pretend that I just got out alone in the dark. And just because I... This is still the same session as Terminal Meltdown. So... It's not like... I think I've had the chance to upload any of, any of these missions yet. So, yeah. So I'm going to be talking about not having done the Gauntlet yet. You're going to be like, of course you've already done it. There's a video up already. Okay, let's see here. What, what's the order? Glowing Wildwoods first. Okay, you don't put up. Alright, a recording from Euclid, Alpha Squad Leader. A Spiral HQ is not yet fully operational, most systems are offline. These personal recordings will have to suffice as a record of our expedition until HQ can establish an uplink system with squads in the field. The clockworks are both fascinating and horrifying. With a seemingly impossible machine, all manners of alien worlds exist within the giant globes that endlessly churn through every floor. What purpose do they serve? And from where did these worlds come? Before the crash, the Skylark performed a partial scan of Cradle's surface that revealed what appeared to be a landscape composed of enormous patches of disparate terrain. The clockworks are manufactured place. Perhaps the worlds they contain are harvested from the terrain above, but how? Alright. Next be Royal Jelly Palace. Someone out there. The recording for Parma, Alpha Squad Recon. Someone out there has it in for me. While in recon training, I was routinely frustrated by the limits of the training simulations. I knew they were not real. I craved the open air, soil beneath my feet in the wind. I wanted the challenge that only the wild can offer. The Skylark crash was horrible, and the resulting situation even worse. But when Captain Oslo selected me for the squad, I was excited. There's no greater wild than what this planet offered. Is that wrong? But, when, but then as we stepped off that first elevator platform and sunlight warmed our faces, began to sink in. The grinding of the gears, the buzzing of enormous lights, the smell of smoke and steam filled air. The world we had stepped into was not real, it was another simulation. More ironic still is how well my train actually applies now. The world is crazy, the train changes constantly. I think the squad would have been better off with another guardian instead of me. At least then they would be better prepared to fight whatever they didn't see coming. Yeah. So next would be Iron Claw, a munitions factory from the Twins. We nearly... Oh, it's, this recording is from Roland, Ops Squad Technician. 
We nearly evaded a gremlin trap today. Ambushed on a platform above a pit of molten slag, we had to hold our ground against the horde of the snarling beasts as we dodged incoming rocket fire from above. Fun stuff. Grants took the full blast of a rocket twice, reacting with only a stagger as if he had discovered a stone in his boot. Sometimes I think that beneath this iron suit is a body of equally heavy iron. It wouldn't surprise me. Parma has been hard on herself, saying she should have scouted the trap. Now how can you scout a world that is ever in flux? How can you be sure that the path ahead is still safe if you can never be sure it's still even there? This is a world designed to confuse its travelers. It wants the trap and destroy them. I'm starting to think it's like a cat toying with its prey before delivering the final blow. I hate cats. Well, you're... Heard here, Roland hates cats. Next would be... The Gauntlet. Within the clockworks, we could afford little sleep. I was from Euclid, the leader again. Hostiles are around every corner, and many of the environments are unsuitable for camp. But when sleep comes, I find myself dreaming more than uh, I, uh, bleh, I ever have before. In my dreams, I see Krayl slowly turning and drifting through the stars. I see the patches of its varying terrain unfold and stretch across the stars like an enormous quilt. It is an oddly comforting dream to see a world unravel itself. But then I wake, and the chaos of the clock works that engulfs me once more. The groans of its ever-turning cogs and howls of the terrible beast that call it tome echoing everywhere. I hope to return one day to the surface, to a sun, to a place where peace is more than a fleeting dream. Alright. Firestorm Citadel. Grant's Alpha Squad Guardian. Huh. You know, I think Parma called herself a guardian here. Yeah. I think the squad would have been better off with an art guardian instead of me, but Parma is the recon. Back to Grant's the actual guardian. You've seen so many worlds on this mission, but none such as this. This burning citadel is not some construction of gremlin design. This is a real place, some kind of shell of a former empire. There is great sorrow here, something unlike I have ever felt before. Legions of shambling dead have attacked us here, relentless in their defense of this place. Their broken, burnt frames crumbling and rising once more, ready for another battle. And just as they refuse to fall, so does the burning ruin around them. It is almost as if this whole realm is trapped in a single moment from some forgotten time, never changing, never allowing itself to finally turn to ash. You can feel it in the smoldering air, an eternal will holding this place together, never allowing its inhabitants to rest. No creature deserves such a fate, it is beyond my understanding. I wish to leave this place soon. I only hope that our doing so will provide some peace to the souls that dwell here. Now entrance to the core. From Parma the Recon. We are at the end of the line. Pursued by some kind of terrible darkness, we are forced into the unknown. As we neared the core, I don't know how to describe this really, the shadows came alive and began to attack us. Roland became enveloped in it, and by the time Grant's freedom, his body was badly burned. He said it felt like both fire and ice. And then we could go no further. As I record this, the darkness is nearly upon us, consuming the world we see, the light. But then the core, it began to open, filling this place with such a light, such an intense blinding light. Euclid has made the call. Faced with darkness, we'll enter the core, enter the light. This will likely be my final recording. There we go. And now these echo stones for... Er... These echo stones for the bosses, those come from doing the shadow layers. So I will go over those at the end of the game as like a finale, you lord um. 
So yeah. That's it for this 20 minute lore dump. See you guys in the gauntlet and then Vanguard missions. Goodbye.